Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. This uh, week, we saw some bullish uh, reversal in the market. However, Friday still gave us that indication that the uh, nature of the market is still somewhat indecisive. You can see where we had the strong reversal in here coming up through the 50, then used the 50 as support, sold off on Friday. Not anything detrimental. However, we're going to need to see further confirmation that the bulls are in control. Even though the Dow did a dark cloud signal in the overbought area, it stayed above the three T line. So this will make it important to see how they open the markets on Monday. If they open it lower, there's a good probability they're going to come back and test the 50 to see if it's going to act as support. What the next Try major uh, uh, trend analysis is is to see whether they can get up through this level. Remember, this downtrend has been down, up, but not to the recent highs, down again, not up to the recent highs. Until they can break the recent high, we're still kind of in a drifting downtrend. So don't be over anxious to get into bullish trades other than on a short-term basis until this level is confirmed. Same scenario here on the NASDAQ. Been in a downtrend. We still need to get up through this level. If they start backing it off, this slow downtrend remains in progress. Again, it wouldn't be unusual to see if the uh, resistance level of the 50 was now going to be tested to see if it's going to act as support. You also saw that as an additional Confirming indicators, the biggies like Amazon got right up to this resistance level and did a bearish engulfing signal also in the overbought area, kind of implying that the nature of the market may still be the same where it's not rip roaring bullish. It's up and down. So once again, we'll need to see what the market does on positive or how they open, whether they open a positive or uh, lower on Monday morning. This still makes the market uh, where you want to have bullish and bearish trades on. Now, obviously, a lot of the Internet stocks sold off basically because of Snap having much lower earnings. And the cruise lines are selling off again. You can see on uh, Carnival, gap down, bullish confirmation. Next likely target is in this range. Take a look at Royal Caribbean and uh, Norwegian. And the internet stocks like Groupon, all still in this downtrend. Facebook, Perry, Google, Twillow, all have bearish charts you want to watch to see if they're going to confirm. And also, some of the therapeutic stocks started selling off. Beam did an evening star signal. Take a look at SWTX and ACAD also as uh, potential short positions. There are still some good bullish uh, chart setups. San Juan Basin doing a J hook supporting right on the 50. It can be bought on positive trading. And SDNX, you can see the kind of the fry pan bottom J hook. If this trades back up through this level, positive trading on Monday, look for wave three or the next wave to take you up into this range. So right now, it's important to see how they're going to open the NASDAQ. That's not the right one. This one. The NASDAQ after the selling. And the uh, concerning indicator here is overbought condition. And they were able to close it back below the low of the previous candle up here. That's a strong bearish signal. So be ready to for this market to back off. Maybe just to test the T-line. Maybe to test the 50 but I wouldn't be buying aggressively, uh, buying anything until you see this start bouncing back up. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.